somebody who is uh, doing uh, great stuff for the Los Angeles Chargers right here, just up the road from us. Uh, the the rare uh, Western Colorado to NFL path taken by one Austin Eckler here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Austin? Hey, what's going on, Rich? Appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you coming on here. So let's talk about your journey, sir. Um, born in Nebraska, right? Born in Lincoln, but you wound up living in Colorado. Is that correct, Austin? Yeah, right. Uh, born in Nebraska, like you said, and then went through K through 12. Uh, out in Colorado in a little farm town called Eaton, Colorado. Okay. And so how did you yeah. wind up in western Colorado, and how did you get noticed there, Austin? Um, no, that. I wasn't really heavily recruited out of uh, high school, if really recruited at all, um, by any D1s. Um, and so I was looking around the area, and there's Division two school. And then at the time, it was Western State, Colorado University, but I think it changed their name recently. Um, you know, there was a couple other D2s that were reaching out to me, but Western wanted me to play running back, and that's what I wanted to play. And so that's why I chose going to Western State. And then your undrafted experience, what was draft day like for you 2017, Austin? What was that like? Right. So, you know, coming from a smaller school, um, you know, teams think they can pick you up in, uh, you know, the the undrafted you know period, and so they don't waste a draft pick on you. And so – it was actually better for me because I was able to kind of pick and choose from a couple different teams and the chargers were on the top of my list. I'm in green Bay and, and the chargers ended up, uh, you know, calling me halfway through the seventh round saying, Hey, if, uh, if he doesn't get picked up in these last few picks and we're, we're willing to take him on as an undrafted free agent. And so from then on, I knew I was probably going to the chargers. Did you make it to, did you try to make it to the combine? Did you send like DVDs around or anything like that to try and get to the combine? <laughs> I don't know about DVDs. <laughs> Let me pass that time. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Eckler, Mr. Twitch, Mr. Gamer. I, I, all right, I still get I still get DVDs sent to me at NFL Network from people saying, "Can you help me get this in the hands of somebody for the combine?" These these things happen. All right, all right. Okay, I'm not that uh, old, Austin. I got to push back here a little bit here. All right. I feel you. I feel you. DVDs but, uh, no, no, laughing DVDs at me. But, um, did you, you try know, I, to I get to the com- <laughs> did, did you try <laughs> to get to the combine? Did you try? I, I I didn't really try just because I didn't really have any traction as far as like I didn't go to a senior bowl or any of the uh, like the higher bowl games. Um, and so I was like, hey, let me just try to get into a pro day because I couldn't have a pro day at my school because. If you didn't know, Western's at 7,800 feet, so there's snow year-round during the um, winter and then going into spring. So I had to go to uh, CU Denver, uh, Colorado Boulder, to get there um, to do my pro day there. Damn. So yeah. that's a, so were, were the Chargers there? I mean, is that where they first saw you? Yeah, I mean... so, so it was kind of uh, – it's kind of different. So CU, they had their uh, pro day with all their guys, and then they had, like, add-ons at the end. And they, there was, like, 20 of us, like, from smaller schools around, and just people just trying out. And they let us run 40s, and they let us do our, like, jumping measurements, and they cut us all down to two. It was me in this other corner, and they told everyone else, yeah, you're done. You didn't pass it. And I was like, oh, like, it's already cutthroat. And so then I went on with the rest of my pro day and did some drills. And, yeah, the Chargers were there. I think there was, like, 20 teams that ended up staying. And so I got a good, I put out a pretty good outing just to kind of solidify that, yeah, I, I have good numbers um, as far as, like, measurables. And then it was just all up from there. Austin Eckler here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So um, when you're balling out right now, um, what do you think of, of those old days? I mean, what if you told that kid, that uh, needed to go somewhere else for a pro day and watch draft day go without him and getting a call from the Chargers seventh round and all of that. What, what, right. what, what do you think of? I don't, you know, I don't think I've told that kid anything, but I think that kid keeps telling me stuff. What is that? Um, my current day. And that's just to continue to work and continue to be efficient. That's kind of what I've, that's what my mindset's been since day one is, okay, how can I be efficient with the opportunities that I have? Because, in the very beginning of my career, my opportunities were like four plays of practice. And a couple of those plays would be on scout teams. And so it was very, very limited. But I wanted to make sure I studied as much as I could. And I knew my entire job. I knew what I had to do. So when I go out there, I could play 100%. And, you know, I started to gain traction because 
I remember a specific instance when uh, I was running down on scout team punt. Um, we're giving our punt return team a look, and I was running as fast as I could, and it was 100%. We were going full speed, and nobody could block me. I made my mind out. Nobody could block me. Hmm. And they came back to film, and Coach Lynn, our head coach, walks in the room, and he asked our special teams coordinator, he's like, hey, who's that number three? Because at the time, I wore number three, which you can't even run it, wear as a running back, so it was basically a long shot from the beginning. So who's number three? And Coach Stu, our special teams coach, goes, yeah, that's Austin Eckler, man. He's been giving us great looks out there. And, you know, so I started to see some, like, confirmation, like, hey, I'm being noticed. And I kept building on that and building on that until I finally just forced my way in into the organization. And now you're you're the lead back there uh, when healthy. What was that like for you this year? That, again, Melvin Gordon, as we know, was holding out last year, and you stepped in, and you definitely made more of a name for yourself, and this was going to be your year to be the man, and then your hamstring damn near rips off the bone, right? Was it that bad for you, Austin? Yeah, uh, yeah, going into week four, you know, I was having pretty good outings. Like I said, being efficient uh, coming into the year, I was like 130, 40 yards a game. So, you know, I was out here <laughs> playing well. Uh, we were so strong. You know, that's a different story. But, yeah, like week four, I injured my hamstring, and I had torn, like, the muscle on my hamstring and then torn the tendon off the bone a little bit. So pretty significant mm. injury. It was a higher hamstring Usually you get like a lower hamstring injury, but mine was really high because I was just in an awkward position when it happened. And yeah, that basically took me out for two months. And you know, in the NFL, there's not really a lot of time to be sitting out. So I missed a lot of games, I think like six or seven. And definitely, you know, the team's been struggling. So it doesn't help when, you know, we've had some other guys that's injured as well. But finally made it back. I've gotten a couple games under my under my belt, and now I'm feeling more so like myself. Uh, so looking forward to being out in these last three games, um, taking it one at a time, though, with the Raiders coming up on Thursday. Yeah, and I appreciate you joining me here in a short week, and we'll talk about your Gridiron Gaming Group in a second. Austin Eckler here on the Rich Eisen Show. Your coach is on a hot seat, sir. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of that. Um, what, what, what does the locker room think when, when you hear that that Anthony Lynn is on the hot seat? What does that bring in your uh, mind, sir? I feel like because. To me, my perspective is like, look, this is an NFL team. Like, people are going to win, people are going to lose. And it's like, people always try to, okay, figure out what's the reason we're losing. And they try to pinpoint it. But however, like, when it comes to the NFL and playing football, it's the ultimate team sport. Um, so it's, it's usually not ever anyone's fault directly. If it is, it's usually pretty obvious. And I just, I just don't see that being the situation out here. You know, there's, there's times where, it's been like, okay, coaching decisions, we messed up. So maybe that's why, you know, the media is like trying to pinpoint that. Or there's been times when the offense did not play well when we usually played well. For instance, when we lost 45-0. to zero. Like, this is the NFL. Like, you know, we didn't score an entire point the entire game. Like, sure, coaching could have been better, but offensively we have to make plays and put points on the board. And so I just think it's, it's too hard to justify to say it's because of Anthony Lane and he's on the hot seat because of that. So – uh, I get his role. His role is to represent our team, so I get that's why the media is kind of you know pushing towards that point. Um, but to collectively, we're in this together. Hey, we got three more games. We're going to try to win all these. Come down the backstretch, and it's up to us to try to be as consistent as we can as a team, and you know specifically uh, me on the offense, um, just trying to you know carry my load and what's expected do what's expected of me in this offense and help. And they're all division. Uh, they're all division games too, Austin. I mean that that that's a nice are. measuring stick too for you to finish up here and finish up strong. Uh, how good is Justin Herbert? How good is this kid? <laughs> so far, man, he's he's shown the potential that he's going to be a great player. Uh, you know, I see his arm strength and his arm talent um, when he's running, getting hit, um, just in all sorts of different situations. You know, long throws, short throws, just decision making has been getting better with experience as far as changing plays, as far as calling protections to protect himself from blitz. And, you know, I think he's going to be really special. Uh, he's a really smart kid, really dedicated. Um, he has good team chemistry, which is very important. Um, you know, he's a competitor. Uh, and so just having him in the room, I don't know. It just he, he still seems like he's the rookie as far as, like, the chemistry. But, like I said, that'll come with time, um, especially coming into a room, you know, with a lot of older guys. Uh, I think he's like one of the youngest on the team too. So I'm really looking forward to playing with him over the next couple of years and seeing him develop.
Well, he clearly made a rookie mistake letting John Lott cut his hair. Uh, that's that was <laughs> Austin. Uh, how much of grief did the team give him for, for that? Uh, you know, we gave a little crap, but at the end of the day, you know, it's all fun and games. Like, of course, he's stuck with it. So, so yeah, but no, we definitely uh, gave him some gave him some heck for that. I mean, yeah, I mean, let John Lott of all people, your strength and conditioning coach. Right. I mean, I don't it's look like at John that. and say and, and say he's a stylist in any way, shape, or form. Right. You know, I mean. Right. Uh, like, that's a, hey, you're the first round pick. You can afford to have someone come cut your hair in Los Angeles. I mean, in L.A. My <laughs> God, there's like a thousand people that would do that better than John. Right. They'll even come to your house, so you don't have to worry about getting. Of course, COVID. of course, you do it in the backyard. I mean, right. it's not. It's 70 degrees out. I mean, what's he thinking? Well, what the hell was that? Uh, Honestly, uh, hey, he's just. Uh, I, I don't know. Trying to build some chemistry, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Austin Eckler here on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, sir, the Gridiron Gaming Group, right? Um, you're 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 definitely one of the most famous gamers in the National Football League. As anybody who is even twitched towards Twitch would know, what's Gridiron Gaming Group? What is it? Right. So before I go, I just want to kind of get the misconception that I'm like a gamer because oh. Twitch is a live streaming platform, oh. not just a gaming platform. Okay. So I do do some gaming on there, but okay. for the most part, it's just me uh, having an opportunity to interact with you okay. know, whoever wants to stop by. All ask right. some questions, talk about live football, funny things that's going on. Okay. Um, it's more just a, of an interactive thing that I started when COVID really hit. And we can't have any, like, signings or giveaways. Right. And so I started looking to Twitch to live stream and, you know, talk to people. And then, you know, I kind of have a proof of concept with myself of just seeing all these different opportunities that doing live streams brought to me. And so then I went ahead and formed a team and joined and, and created what's called uh, Gridiron Gaming Group, and basically what Gridiron Gaming Group is, long story short, it's just a platform um, to bring other athletes, other influencers that want to be in the space, uh, bring them to this platform so they don't have to start from ground zero. They can start um, with already, you know, my editor's help, and they can start with uh, our sponsors of Gridiron Gaming Group, and then it's an opportunity for sponsors to also get involved to have their uh, products in a new in a new space. Uh, for example. You know, I've done some fundraisers. Um, I've done some just actual, like, just promotion events for, like, Samsung. Um, Wilson's one of our sponsors. And so we just have a lot of new people getting involved because this is a new space, especially when we're at home so much. Um, people are looking for new ways to do, co- like, see content and create content. And, yeah, I'm reaching out to any uh, athletes, influencers that want to try to come join a group, and we can bounce, you know, Uh, our platforms off each other and grow together and gain gain traction and open up opportunities for ourselves. Okay, so uh, should I bring my VCR with me, Austin, if I come? Yeah, bring it in. Bring my VCR, my DVDs, and my my Walkman, (laughs) right? Should should I bring all that? My record player? For sure. sure. (laughs) But yeah, if you want to come check me out on Twitch, yeah, it's Austin Eckler on Twitch. Okay. Uh, I stream on Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah, and it, so who's going to co-host Thursday Night Football uh, if you're actually playing in Austin? So, yeah, what about that? That's another thing I've been doing. Yeah, and that's that's another opportunity that I've had uh, is partnering with Twitch in the NFL and streaming the Thursday Night Football games. And so I would have never had that opportunity uh, hadn't been for Twitch. So right, uh, but who's sitting? Like that. But this week, you know, who's sitting I was in for thinking you? Thinking about putting my laptop on the sideline, <laughs> going over and talking when the defense is on the field. But I was like, yeah, I should probably pay attention. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if Coach Lynn. I don't know if Coach Lynn would give the 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 blue check mark to that one. Uh, the powder blue right. check mark would not come for that one, Austin. So we'll just have to do without a Thursday night with Austin Eckler on Twitch. But uh, right. hey, look, congratulations on everything that you're doing. I mean, that is that is uh, a great use of the platform that you have, and the moments that you have uh, being a National Football League player. Uh, that uh, uh, of, of your your style and your grace, as well as your 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 playing acumen, this is uh, this is beyond beyond wise and uh, way to go, is what I'm saying. Hey, Austin. thank you, Rich. I appreciate that. Man. You got it. You got it. Just well, just because uh, again, you know, I know uh, you don't want to be known as a gamer. That's that said. Right. That said. Okay, I will just say this. That, that that said, are you the best at it in the NFL when you do it? Are you the best at? Yes, it? Yes, I would say I'm the best streamer. Yes. Okay. You're the best streamer on Twitch. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, and, yeah. and I need, and I need to basically say this then too, Austin, um, you know, since I did say the words DVD before, which made you laugh, 
Um, <laughs> you're on a streamer right now on Peacock, so I get it. Is basically what I'm saying. I understand. Yeah, there Power you go. There of, you go. Of streaming. We can relate. We can relate. See, we we finally came all together. Last one for you, Austin. Uh, did Lamar Jackson go to the bathroom last night? What do you think? <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> As a professional football player who, who knows it and I sees it and does. understands it, what what, what, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna believe him that he ate some cramps. <laughs> now, you, you you did you ever play in the old? Did you play in the old uh, Qualcomm? Did you close down Qualcomm? Were you there for the I, old? I did not. I was only up in uh, Stubbo. Okay, because I was talking about there used to be a bathroom right on the sideline for the Chargers, so that wouldn't have happened. So okay, so you're so you're going nice. okay, so you're going you're going. Lamar did in fact take the IV last night. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Is that because you're a nice guy? Is that what you're saying, or what? Come on now, what do you think? I mean, I just it makes sense. Like, <laughs> if you had to go to the bathroom, why wouldn't you just say you had to go to the bathroom? Okay, there you go. It's emergency. Austin Eckler, they, it's happened. We're only human, right? Is basically right. what you're saying. We're only human, That's right? <laughs> I get it. Well, congrats again. So tomorrow you're going to be announcing the first NFL team members signing on to your Gridiron Gaming Group company, correct? That's happening tomorrow? Yeah, that'll be announced tomorrow, I believe, yeah. On Twitch? On Twitch? Is that what you're doing? Uh, I, I think my – well, my Twitch stream already knows probably about it, but officially to the world now. Okay, very it's good. Kind of on other socials. Thank you very much, Austin. We'll, we'll be looking out for that. Let's do this more often. Thanks for the call. Awesome. Let's do it. Thanks, Rich. You got it. That's Austin Eckler, at Austin Eckler on both Twitter and Instagram. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.